challenge? It'll be like the one we played in it when we had North Carolina here. It'll be the same kind of environment. They've got great fans, and they're going to be all over it. And they've got a team that's uh, going well, undefeated, and it uh, should be a, um, a festive crowd, I would say. And what kind of challenge is it for, for Marcus, not only because they're going to be on him a little harder, I would think, but just to, to run a team in that kind of environment? It's going to be hard. It's going to be a tough challenge. Um, you know, you, you don't want to get in the back and forth. I, he's scoring on me, now I'm scoring on him. Can't do that, not, not in these kind of games. And it's all going to be new to him. It's his first time in that building. It's first time on the true road game. It's going to be hard. Green talked about, you know, just raw athleticism, length, that they can't match you guys. But, you know, they're going to have to get the open looks outside and that they've got guys that can knock them down. How much of an equalizer can that be, the, the way they shoot the ball? Well, I think, the first of all, they'll go with Cody. They're going to run a, any kind of power game they can to see exactly if we can guard them inside. Uh, the good news is for them, if we do anything leaving men, all their perimeter men shoot the ball well. So it's going to be a tough challenge on what we do. Uh, but they're good. I mean, they've got good guard play. They've got good post play. They get the Watford as a 6'9 swing forward, who's a 3-4, playing a 4 for them, which is what I like fours to be, threes. Um, and uh, they come off the bench with some, some toughness. They're good. They're a really good team. Seems like they have a lot of confidence going into this year, going into you guys coming in there. Is that warranted? Or oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, they're 8-0. No. They went on the road and won a game at NC State. NC State <coughs> is playing much better. Um, NC State had them down. And they didn't go, they were down seven with seven minutes to go, and they came back and won by 11. Think about the fight that they have in them. So they're well coached. Tommy does a great job. They'll have a great game plan. Anytime I've coached against Tom, you've got to be ready because he'll, you know, throw some junk defenses. You better be ready for a triangle and two. He may throw a box and one. They'll throw some zone. One year we went up there, they hadn't played any zone until we went in town. They played all zone. Um, they may sag. They may not play our point guard. They may trap off our point guard. You got to be ready for all kind of things because he'll throw some stuff at you. He's a terrific coach. How much do you maybe appreciate that? Uh, even though you're number one team, you still got national folks picking at you, picking against you. And that your kids hear that. Well, I'm, again, we haven't been on the road yet. We're a young team: three freshmen, two sophomores. It's an easy pick. I mean, um, all right, they're going to lose on the road. They're a young team. You know, I mean, uh, it's funny that, you know, we've won and, 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 you know, we get less votes the next week after we win against North Carolina. I don't know if that's people's hope or their opinion, you know, on that stuff. So um, we, all we got to do is try to, you know, play a good ball game. It's going to be hard. You know, we know it's hard. They, I'm trying to explain to them how you have to play to win on the road. But me saying it and them doing it are going to be two different things. How good prep is this for the SEC road when every game is a Armageddon? Yeah, it's good. It's What else it does is I told them this is a learning opportunity for us. Last year we were not good on the road. We just weren't. Uh, we beat South Carolina on the road, uh, but they had struggled. But everybody else on the road, we couldn't beat anybody. And so this shows us where we are. Now, it's not like you have to go win the game, but you want to know where are we because we have some time. We have a month to get it right uh, before we start playing league games on the road. Do you do anything different to prepare your players for this road game? As far as the, the loud, the crowd, the atmosphere, anything? I heard the loud music in the weight room. That's them. When I walk in, <laughs> I turn the music off. Um, no, we, we approach every game as, as though it's the same. There's not one game on our schedule that's dealt with in any other fashion. We, we know it's a hard game. Our players know. I don't have to tell them. And, but we're approaching it. They'll know that this is just important as our next game. I don't even know who that is. But whoever that is, we'll, we'll deal with it the same way. Cal, because uh, Teague is going home, do you have a special conversation? Because you know he's going to take more garbage than anybody. No, nah, well, I'll talk a little bit when we get up there. We haven't, we haven't discussed it yet. I just asked him. We got a lot of family coming. He said, yeah. He said, the guys give you their tickets? He said, yeah, it's a good thing. That's, that's the conversation we've had. Do you think confidence is really going to be an issue on the road with you know young team? Could be. You know, like, do you think that if something goes wrong, will it get in their minds and kind of mess well, them up? Why, that's why you do these games. You find out if that's the case. 
So I, I obviously won't know how they'll react. But you got to get on the road. You got to get on a team against a team that's going to be well coached and going to come at you different angles, try to confuse you, do different things, and let's see how we respond. Can you talk right. a little bit about sort of your comments, I guess, today to Dan Patrick that you did, I think you, you said to him that uh, you asked Joe B. Hall what would be a, a, a good run here, a long run, and he said 10 years. And you, you might not be, you said you might he not looked, be able to make it that long. I said, how long is a long run, Coach? He went, 10 years <laughs> is what he said to me. And it's, you know, this is one of those ones where as long as I'm having a ball coaching, that means my kids will have fun. And if I'm not having a ball doing this, I just won't do it. And I'll pass it on to the next guy and say, you'll do great. It's a great thing. Don't, I'm telling you, you'll love it. You said you, when you weren't sure you could go 10 years. Is it just, is this a? I'd like to live a life after now? I'm done coaching. <laughs> I'd like to be alive and happy. And I said, what I don't want to be is a bitter, just a bitter old coach. I just don't want to be that. And I see, I just don't want to be that. I want to be a guy that had a good run, took care of a lot of kids, a staff that all got jobs. Everybody benefited by us coming together. And my wife and I look back and said, hey, we done good. We treated people right. And, and if that's the case, and if it's, I, I'd be surprised if I'd be here longer than 10 years. The great thing about all you is you'll hold me accountable. Okay, coach, I'm done with you. You said you'd be done. Does this mean you leave? What are you telling the recruit? I can just hear it. But I'm just, you know, I, I'm, I'm having fun at what I'm doing. This is an unbelievable, it took me 20 years to get here, so I'm not like so quick to leave a place like this. Other guys have had these jobs for 15, 20 years. It took me 20 to get a job like this. So I'm not in a hurry to leave, but it's the same sense. They'll, when it's time, I think we'll all know. Have you ever talked to Joe about why he left at a relatively young age? Was that part of the conversation? You no, we had dinner the other night. He's, he's just, you know, here's a guy that, uh, he, his, when he took the job, his salary was 22000 when he first took the job. And probably even his last year, after going to Final Fours and winning a national title, probably, but you know what? He still comes in this gym, watches us practice, and wants to help me coach my team, and wants us to be better, and loves the state, and loves, he said, Coach, the reason I never left, I was from here. I was from here. And you know, eight or nine, 10 years in, I probably should have said, hey man, it's time to go somewhere but you know what he just loves the state he loves the university and came in talking to me about some issues bigger than just my team the other day and it was all based on this school in this state i mean he's he's a special guy what are the challenges of longevity here that you think would make it a challenge there's not many jobs that you wear the coat 24 hours a day seven days a week it never leaves this is one of them so then it becomes how long and you go at the pace that I go. You know, what's funny, I've, I've gone at this pace. People, well, how, where do you find the time? You're out on a, you recruit, you read, you read, but what? I've always done it this way. That's why I say at the pace, I'm not sure that I'd be very good at like 72 years old and still trying to do this, you know. Um, right now, I forget names. Uh, 12, come here. <laughs> Or I'm calling guys, Anton. Guy looks, Anton. That was when I was at UMass. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come here, kid. I mean, I can't even imagine, you know, trying to do this. But I, again, I'm having a ball. I'm at a place that ha does the best job of a, I've ever seen, what I call the Kentucky effect, for players, for staff, for people around the program. Um, you're, you're seeing that uh, assistant ADs, I mean, this be has become ADU. I mean, any assistant becomes a, an AD here. And I mean, so there's so many things here that makes this a unique place that, you know, it's, it's neat to be here. With regards to appreciating history, is college basketball better when Indiana's good? Oh, yeah. But it, it's better, you know, because it means something to their state. Um, but you could say that about 10 or 15 programs. But I, I'm just saying, you know, I have the utmost respect for Tom Kearney the way he does his job, the way he treats players, how they get better. Not just Wade. I know what he did with him, but there are other players that have all gotten better. He cares about his kids, he's involved in the community. And you know, he's, he's, there's landmines up there for him. You know, some people have left some landmines to, and he's had to maneuver around all that stuff. And I'll tell you what, he's done, he's done great work. John, what are the characteristics of a 
Crane coach team on its plan well? Um, they're going to take good shots. Uh, they're going to be tough as nails. You're not getting a second shot. They're going to block you out. They're going to dive on the floor. They're going to take charges. They're going to play with emotion. Um, they'll knock down open shots. They'll just they're they're they'll, they're a grinded out team that'll play, but they're they're not going to hurry themselves and try to control game, you know. And uh, he's got the team now playing that way. The tapes I've seen, I've been very very impressed. I assume at least this week you probably ignore your app messages on Twitter. My what? Your app, your 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 messages, direct messages from the, the Indiana fans have been pretty. Uh, I don't even Rowdy this that. week on Twitter. <laughs> Tom and I have text back and forth. He has one of the funniest texts to me I've ever seen in my life. And I wanted to tweet it so everybody could see it. It was as funny as I've ever seen. And, you know, and after he texted me, and it was really hysterical, I texted him back. I'm a little worried now. You're, you're in a great frame of mind. I don't like this. <laughs> and I said, I'm getting a little anxious. And, what did uh, you share? Well, what was that? Yeah, what was that? Was just, <laughs> I'll let him tell you. I'll let you tell him. Tell he'll tell just you. But again, I mean, I, <laughs> this thing, you know, you know, it's not personal with me, and I know it's not with him. He wants to win that game for his campus, his team, his state, and I want to do the same. But none of it's personal. I have no issues with any of their fans or their. I brag about their program more than anybody else's. But again, this is going to be a hot, contested game. And we know it, and you know. Hopefully, we're ready. We've had some good practices. I, I asked my staff last night, "Do you think I've pushed our guys enough?" And they're, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Well, I said, "If we haven't, we'll see." And it's going to be right on us. How many, How many more years? Last question. Left on the count?